Hey folks, Hal Sherliff, Camp Constitution. I uh, am going to be giving the, uh, the annual report for 2023 on this, uh, on this New Year's Day of January 1st, 2024. And I've been doing these so uh, for the last five or six years. Usually start with a quarterly report. This we just do it uh, in a, on our camp blog. Uh, the six months, three quarter, uh, third quarter report, and then we do the video for the uh, end of the year. And uh, we'll put this out on the on the camp blog too. You get more specifics and details. So what you see there is a picture of our official camp photo for last year, July 2023. And we had to do it indoors because it was raining out. But we had a, another full house. A full house is about 140 people, give or take. <clears throat> we had more than that if you count some of the people that just came for a day or a day or two. And uh, we actually had Fox News, ABC, NBC and on hand uh, because one of our guest instructors was running for president, Vivek Ramaswamy. Actually, it was the first time we had a... A, a, a candidate, a presidential candidate at the camp, and while we don't endorse anybody, we uh, give the campers an opportunity to actually meet a candidate and vet that candidate. And that video was up on our YouTube channel. We got about 18,000 views in a short time for that one. Uh, the Samuel Blumenfeld archives, we'll start with that. Now, for, for those of you who might not be familiar with who's this guy, Sam Blumenfeld? Sam was a dear friend of ours, he was an instructor at our camp. He was, and more importantly, he was a pioneer in the uh, homeschool movement. And he passed away in 15. He left us his papers, his recordings, and most of his books. And uh, with that information, with that, those files and those books, we created with the help of our camp webmaster, uh, Eric Conover, and our camp newspaper editor, Mark Affleck, this incredible online archive. And it has most of Sam's works, his writings, his, his recordings, some videos. And so uh, uh, one of his, uh, so we got over, uh, you see, 713,000 plus hits. And a hit doesn't mean an individual, but it means, we're not really sure exactly how there's a, there was an average hits, but probably a couple hundred thousand people. And we get people around the world, but mainly in the United States. And uh, the Alpha Phonics workbook which is, is his best work. And... Um, uh, this is a very simple uh, method of how to read, learn how to read. And we got, uh, as you see, 3,779 folks downloaded this very important work. Uh, our numbers are a little down on this uh, archive over the last couple of years. For some reason, I think during the height of the COVID, more people were online uh, looking for things. Uh, the, the manual that helps people who need the manual, we personally don't think, my wife and I used this for our children really didn't need a manual, but some people might think they need, need a manual. So we got almost 3,000 downloads of the manual. Uh, 9,000 uh, downloads of Is Public Education Necessary? This is one of his books that goes into the history of government education and how the left took it over and why you should be homeschooling. Uh, the, the last book he wrote, he co-authored with Alex Newman, one of our instructors, and uh, you see here uh, 4,550, um, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 1,039 Crimes of the Educators. The Crimes of the Educators book is a, um, a draft of the, of the book itself, uh, an, an early draft. <clears throat> I do encourage you to buy copies. It's, I think it's in paperback and hardback. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, and it's a great book. It really goes into uh, the problems with government education. And then we had some people download uh, the uh, online Alpha Phonics Lesson 1. It's 128 lessons. We have them all on, uh, on video or audio. And some lessons, don't let that scare you. Some lessons are like three minutes or four minutes long. It's not like uh, you know, an hour each lesson. And about six, 850 phonics videos. And what was really interesting is that we, get, we don't get a lot of feedback from all these people that have been accessing um, or the site, but every now and then we do. And a gentleman, and I mentioned him before, and uh, he's a principal of a school in Zimbabwe, and uh, he reached out to us a, a few years ago. We've been donating copies of the Alpha Phonics, and I interviewed him recently. Well, he got a hold of me earlier this year and said that he is uh, just bought some land, and he's going to be building a school. They use the word college for high school, and they're going to call it the Samuel Blumenfeld College in honor of Sam Blumenfeld. And he expects to have a nice opening ceremony, and he plans to invite us to that. And that's something 
Whereas Zimbabwe might, might not be the first country that I want to go to <laughs> on my bucket list. We'll definitely have to go to this opening of this school when and if it happens. Oh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Okay, let me go. I don't know how that happened. Let me go back on the slides here. Okay. There we go. Okay, here we go. Next. Uh, there we go. So, we've been up in the, uh, our family's been up in the uh, Alton, New Hampshire, what we call the Lakes region of New Hampshire, for three years now. And, uh, you know, when people ask me, well, how, what can I do? You know, and I say, well, you get, to get the message out locally. And one of the things we did is we ended up meeting the editor of the local, one of the local newspapers, the Weir's Times. And we are now writing for that nice paper once a month. And they run our news releases. Sometimes they put the news release on the front page as an article. Uh, we have two miles of highway, Route 28 in New Hampshire. Uh, we, we keep it clean. We do two cleanups a year. And as you can see in the, in the video here, I mean on the, uh, on the PowerPoint, you'll see our little name, Camp Constitution. So everybody who either is driving north or south from that two-mile stretch, if they're looking at the sign, they'll say Camp Constitution. So it's good, good publicity. And uh, we like to be good stewards of... Uh, the earth. That's why, as Christians, we don't worship the earth, but we do have to be good stewards of it. And uh, we have a van uh, that a uh, fellow that uh, passed away left us a little fun so we could buy it back in '19. Good friend of ours, and um, and of course it has our camp logo, and you see the Uncle Sam. Thanks to Bruce Socha, Socha of Socha Sign Company, he did that for us. And uh, just the people acknowledge they see the van, and many many times people come up to me ask me a little bit about Camp's Constitution. I always have a brochure to give them, a copy, a, a pocket copy of the Constitution, etc. Um, we started a publishing arm uh, way back, I think, in 11 or 12. It was because one of our benefactors asked if, if we could get our hands on a uh, book called, uh, oh, what was it called? Um, from Farm Boy to Financier, it's written by one of the attendees at that infamous Jekyll Island meeting in Jekyll Island, Georgia, to, to uh, 19, 1910. Well, I finally got it after a little bit of searching, and we just want to put that chapter in print, the chapter that deals with the, uh, his visit to Jekyll Island or the involvement in that. And since then, we've been, uh, we've been reprinting some books and a few originals. And one original is something that it's not out yet, but it's, it's at the printer, ready for a, a, a last editing before we get it out. It's called The Racist Roots of Planned Parenthood and Its Legacy of Death. And it's a collection of letters that we got from the, uh, the, uh, Dr. Clarence Gamble. He was uh, an associate of Margaret Sanger. And back in 18, we, uh, Reverend Kraft and I, we did a video across the street from where he had lived in Milton, Massachusetts, which was pretty close to my old neighborhood. And he read, you know, he read excerpts of this infamous Negro project letter that Margaret Sanger had sent him. And I then realized just a, a short distance on the same road or street was the home of Prescott Bush, where George H.W. Bush was born. And... Anyway, I thought, and Prescott Bush was uh, involved in Planned Parenthood, he was his first treasurer. So I thought there'd be some correspondence. Well, there wasn't any as I got to the library, but I got all this information between Sanger and Gamble. And it took a while because um, I had to transcribe it. I'm not a fast typist. Uh, I couldn't just scan these in because they were old typewritten letters. But there was some, and a lot of the people mentioned in these letters weren't that well known today, but they should be. And along the way, I discovered there was something called the Puerto Rican Project, which was kind of new. I'd never heard of that before. And much more detail about the Negro Project and some of the folks involved. So we hope to have that book out uh, sometime in January of 2024. And another project that we just about finished is a book that Sam Blumenfeld started. He gave me a manuscript many years ago, Did the KGB Kill Kennedy? And it's only about 80 pages long. And it was in a draft form, and, and um, what we did was we had, it, we had it in a Word document, or I should say a PDF, and uh, we then put it, I had Bill McNally, he offered his services, Bill McNally is a good friend of ours, he's the head of the Samuel, or the founder of the Samuel Blumenfeld Literacy Foundation, he and his uh, daughter Barbara um, edited it uh, within a short time, and it's all we need to do is write a forward to it, and we'll have that out probably uh, in, sometime in the early spring. 
So we're excited about that. We've got a few other projects uh, in the works. Camp Constitution Radio. We have a radio show which we've been uh, airing since 2016 on WBCQ The Planet. And we created a Podomatic uh, site that is, or page I should say, that's our flagship platform for the podcasts. And from there we are on iHeart, Amazon Music, SoundCloud, and I think a few others, Spotify I believe. And it's not just my, uh, the radio show itself, but we have a lot of classic speeches going back to the 60s and 70s. Folks like Gary Allen, um, <clears throat> the author of Preacher from Jekyll Island, um, G.W. Griffin. Uh, Alan Stang and many others. Um, so again, this is, these are modest numbers, but we're, we're, I'm the only full-time person, and I like to think that we're making a, a good impact in the, in the circles that we influence. Uh, so we got 8,000 downloads, uh, 1,200 plays, and uh, we've been top 10 in the category, at least automatic for the conservative, what they call conservative right. Every now and then we're like number one or number two, but it doesn't last too long. And again, we encourage you to. Uh, Go to this Podomatic page, and uh, I guess you follow it. It's not, it's sometimes you like, but this one, you follow. So you follow it, and, uh, and then share the information. Okay, uh, YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, a Rumble channel, and also, um, what's the third one? There's another one. We just we don't use it that much. Anyway, we believe we're going to probably lose our channel at some point. The... Uh, uh, they'll every now and then I'll get a uh, some kind of notice that I violated we violated their policy some we had a video that was up there for like 15 years and all of a sudden um, <clears throat> but nevertheless we, we I've been saying this for two years and was by God's grace we're still there we used to average about 65,000 views a month and I know that we're I guess the term shadow banned but every now and then we get a video that does get a lot of a lot of looks and so forth but from the beginning when we started the, the YouTube channel in 2010, we've got 1.6 million views. Again, modest numbers if you overlook at other organizations, but not too bad. For, uh, and we have really solid information. We get over 1,000 videos. You can actually create a homeschool curriculum. Maybe not a complete one, but a pretty good one uh, with all of the great instruction we have there. We got 1,000 new subscribers this summer. We did end the year. We got about 1,000 views of the video I uploaded last night. This would be uh, New Year's Eve, about 8 o'clock. In that four-hour period, we probably got um, six or 700 views. We got, again, about 100,000 views uh, this year. And we are almost at 6, 000, uh, 8 thousand subscribers. We're like four shy of that number. And we've been, again, adding a lot this year. <clears throat> Our Rumble page, or channel, Rumble is much more uh, freedom-oriented, and we haven't, uh, it's not as big as YouTube, but I think it's growing. There are a lot of people that are leaving YouTube for one reason or another, going to Rumble, so it's bringing a lot of people into that. Uh, we got 9,000 views this year, up, uh, last year I should say, up by uh, 7,000 from the previous year. Um, just 1,200 views over the past 30 days, and overall 150,000 views. And what we're doing is we've been taking some of the videos from the YouTube channel that we think are timeless uh, and we've been putting them up onto the Rumble uh, page. So we encourage you to go there and check our page out and subscribe to it. Uh, Camp Constitution Media, well that's pretty much me with a camera. And I guess this program would be <laughs> me or maybe a friend of mine, a friend or so that uh, brings a camera to an event. And there's a whole list of things that we've been, uh, that we record or... Um, we make videos and post them on our YouTube channel, Rumble channel. The Lexington reenactment, that's the Battle of Lexington uh, that take place. It's uh, usually that week of April 19th on a Monday. And we've been doing it for a number of years. Or one year, the Lexington Minuteman, uh, they actually um, embedded our video into the, on their <coughs> website because they liked it. It was the, probably, the, they liked it. I got really close to the battle, so uh, some good footage. Julie Wilkinson, who was the, she played the abortion nurse in the movie uh, unplanned, the Abby Johnson story. She, we brought her up here for a speaking engagement. She also spoke at the ladies' retreat. We had her in uh, Massachusetts and in New Hampshire. Um, the Alton, New Hampshire Memorial Day Parade, uh, we videotaped that. We also wrote an article for the local newspaper. And by the way, I want to talk about local newspapers. I should have mentioned that most of these local newspapers do not have full-time reporters. That means you can become a reporter for your local newspaper if, if you try hard enough and um, and then uh, you could report on events that you attend and, and other other important things 
Uh, we have uh, our annual Memorial Day weekend event in Lexington, Massachusetts, and we, uh, we had several speakers that we videotaped. And uh, we, this one was fun. Edith Kraft, our, our uh, youth, uh, our, uh, one of our one of, uh, program director for our youngsters, she uh, was fired our, our cannon. And with that one, it got about 5,000 views uh, in, in a short time. And <clears throat> Chow Van Veek was the uh, author of Shooting Back, who was the South African man, a Christian man, that uh, fired back when four terrorist communists came into his church, murdered about 11 or 12 people, and wounded many more. And he fired back with a 38 and actually saved probably hundreds of lives because of that. He's also a missionary in Africa, and he's got incredible stories to tell. And we had him. Uh, we had about seven or eight engagements in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and Maine. And one of the presentations is uploaded on our YouTube channel. The Future of Christendom Conference, which is we had been attending. Uh, we have this is the first time since '19. I was one of the presenters, but we got some really good footage, uh, some good videos of the other presenters. <coughs> Our second annual weekend retreat uh, in nearby Tufton, Borough, New Hampshire. We had some great, uh, some great lectures there, including one from Karen Testament. She was the gubernatorial candidate here in New Hampshire, and her topic was the New Hampshire State Constitution. That was very well done. And uh, the Norfolk, Massachusetts County Republican had a Second Amendment rally and event, and we were there to present as well as to have an information table. We recorded that as well. And uh, the last video I think we did uh, of 2023 was uh, a return to the Gamble Bush neighborhood uh, where we talked, Reverend Kraft and I talked about the forthcoming book and we actually got a little footage of not just um, across from the Gamble house but where, uh, where uh, Prescott Bush lived and H.W. Bush was born. Camp Constitution in the news. Well, we didn't get as much media coverage this year than we got last year. I mean, when you get a 9-0 Supreme Court decision, uh, we got more coverage, I think, in that one year than we got in our whole existence. We did get one article about our week-long camp uh, in a local newspaper in uh, Claremont, New Hampshire. But the Shirtliff v. Boston case is making news all of the time. Uh, Montgomery uh, City, Montgomery, Alabama, for example, they uh, based their decision to change their flight policy because of our Supreme Court decision. Um, and in Massachusetts, a pro-life uh, legal defense fund reached out to us and asked if we would want to partner with them and try to get pro-life flags flying in, uh, around the state. And an email went out, and within a short time, a lot of these towns, dozens of them, changed their policy. They didn't want to fly any third-party flag. That's what they refer to. It's a flag that they, the town either flies so most of these towns, and this is happening around the country, and again, it's because of our case, our decision, that towns are either allowing Christian flags to fly or pro-life flags, or they're saying, we're just going to fly the U.S. flag and the state flag. No rainbow flags, no Palestinian flags, et cetera, et cetera. So um, there's also a lawsuit that we heard about, made the news in Colorado. A, a father is suing a school because they wouldn't fly the straight pride flag, where they fly uh, rainbow flags everywhere in the school, and they cited our case uh, as well. So we're, we're pretty honored about that. Uh, and I think what's more important is that the Lemon Test has been put to rest. Lemon Test was this terrible Supreme Court decision in 71 that uh, attempted to de-Christianize or de-religionize our nation. And uh, because of our decision and a decision that came out, the Kennedy case that came out a little bit after that in late June, um, it's okay to say God bless you in the public arena. It's even okay to have a Ten Commandments statue uh, in the in the on, in, on public property, etc. And that's again due to the great work of Liberty Council by taking our case. All right, we get we get on the airwaves uh, in addition to our show, of course. Uh, just recently, South Coast Now. This is um, the south the south coast of uh, Massachusetts, New Bedford, Fall River. Chris McCarthy, who's been an old friend, Tamara Scott. She's got a program on Frank. Uh, Frank's, uh, Frank's Speech, which is Mike Lindell's network. Ed Martin of the Phyllis Life of the Eagles, with just a few that have us on, on uh, sort of a regular, not, not every week, but maybe uh, two or three times a year. We're also on a number of other programs, and we're always looking for new formats. We were on some new programs uh, last year for the first time. And when the, when the book comes out, we're going to be getting these books into the hands of these folks, 
and it's going to help out, no doubt, uh, get us more. We had our ladies, we call it a spring fling. This is our fourth annual, and we had the youngest elected official in the United States. I think she still is, Valerie McDonald, as well as Julie Wilkinson, who we mentioned a little earlier. There's a picture of Julie. I did have a picture of Valerie, but it didn't show up. Now, we sell books on Amazon, as well as our Facebook, my Facebook page, and our website, too. Uh, if you go to our website, campconstitution.net, you'll see the online bookstore. The sales, Amazon's book sales have gone down a whole lot, and I think it's not just us, I think it's pretty much uh, consistent. People just aren't reading as much, unfortunately. But we still manage to raise about $4,000. Every little bit helps. And not only that, what's even, I think it's important to get some of these classic conservative books out. There's a lot of new patriots, people are not familiar with some of these things that were written in the 40s and 50s and 60s and even 70s. And a lot of folks, they get a, these, I, I call them neocon books from Conservative Inc. You know, the same people, they have a new book out every other of the month. There's not a whole lot of information in there, and you're paying $35, $40 for it. Our second annual weekend retreat was, um, was a success, and this is uh, in uh, late September going into October at the beautiful Camp uh, Sentinel in Tuftonboro, New Hampshire, just a few towns away from us. And our Facebook page, I do encourage you, if you're on Facebook, to go to our page and like it. I post things, probably 10 or so things a week on there, maybe more. Uh, we get about 50 likes per month, and we also administer eight other pages, or Facebook groups, I should say. A couple more pages and other groups. We have a page on Gab, which I don't use that much, but we were actually banned. I was, we were suspended. I was personally suspended from, from uh, Facebook. And I thought, well, we better, we better have some alternatives. And we also have a Twitter, but we don't use it that often. Although I was proud to say that I actually was, um, uh, what was it, not banned when uh, someone, someone, someone banned it. This Professor Mann, he's one of the climate cultists. Uh, he's one of the high priests of the climate cult. He, uh, he blocked me. That's the word, block. So he blocked me. I thought that was interesting. Um, our website, now... In 2022, we got a whole lot more traffic because of all the media coverage. And that's what draws, different things draw traffic to the website. So here, we didn't do as much this year. It was a little slow, but we got 31,000 views. We wrote about 180 articles for the blog. We uploaded, uh, I should say, we have two new uh, download, downloads. Uh, and they're all free. How to Win a Gunfight, Even If You're Not a Good Shot by Chow Van Vake. And a coloring book, Learn About Money. That was something that was done in the 70s when they used to teach young people the value of a dollar. Uh, okay, and we have two new sponsors as well that are on our sponsors page. And we encourage you, if you have a nonprofit or a, a business and you would like to be a sponsor, we just ask for $100 a year, and a minimum, and we'll have that up there for as long as you want it. Uh, we have a place in Lexington uh, that we don't, we don't own it, but we are trustees of the place, and that's where our... Um, Camp Chaplain, along with his wife Edith, who uh, does work with our, our youngsters at camp, and we have numerous events at, uh, at the house. We also, it's only just a few, a few blocks from the Lexington Battle Green, and we uh, had a, uh, we do, we have monthly luncheons there, as well as um, we had the homeschoolers uh, overnight for the Battle of Lexington, and it was the first time we did that. Uh, looking into 2024, well, we've got our camp, our annual family camp coming up, July 14th to the 19th, and we have Tucker Carlson as one of the uh, guest instructors, along with Julie Wilkinson, who was very popular. They just loved her, and they want her back, and she loves coming up here. She's from Oklahoma, and um, we're excited about that. We're also going to be hosting Vince Ellison. He's coming up in early May to uh, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Vince is the author of three books. His last one is called Crime, Inc., and there's a picture of Vince and uh, Reverend Kraft when we had a nice uh, breakfast down in Lynchburg, Virginia this past August. And uh, we have a ladies' retreat coming up, and this time the retreat is just 10 minutes from our house. I'm not even out at the Chris Alton, Christian, uh, Alton Bay Christian Conference Center. And, our, of course, our weekend retreat, the last weekend in September. And how can you help Camp Constitution grow? Well, the first thing is to pray. Not, not just pray for our camp, but pray for our nation. Pray for our world. Pray for revival. That's really what's needed. Um, and if God leads you, wherever he may lead you, he might be leading to help us financially, 
You can make a monthly uh, donation. You can do it uh, through our PayPal. So if you go to our website, uh, you'll see the little PayPal button. You can do a one-time donation or you can do a uh, monthly, two dollars, a dollar. Or We have some people give us a hundred. We have actually one person gives us a hundred. Some people give us 25 or 30. It's, it's all greatly appreciated. How about host one of our speakers? If you go to our website, you'll see a nice list of our speakers and uh, you can deal directly with them or just reach out to them and say, yeah, we'd love to have you give a presentation. We also do something called Camp Constitution for a Day, where we might have three or four or five different program, different uh, blocks of instruction, break for lunch. We even have uh, a program for the youngsters. We've been doing that in Maine. Uh, we also did that in New York, upstate New York and I think a few other places, uh, oh, Connecticut. Uh, and so it's very successful. And uh, mostly homeschool groups have done that for us, uh, but the church group doesn't really matter. Introduce Camp Constitution to your family and friends by copying and pasting when you get our links, when you go to our YouTube channel or go to our Facebook page or go to our blog. And, you know, that's, how, that's how things go viral, by simply um, subscribe to our YouTube channel or Rumble channels. Follow us on Podomatic. Write an article for our camp blog. And all you have to do is simply uh, email it to me. You don't have to go to the website and get you know, passwords. But if you have something that you want to, uh, you know, if we like what you have, we'll be happy to copy uh, put it up on the site and share our media posts. I mentioned that. So uh, we're looking forward to a, uh, a very successful 2024. I want to thank you for watching. To learn more about us, campconstitution.net.